it's impossible for us to not have a sense of like excitement and nervousness and pride and gratitude. All I know is he and the uh, other Avengers are on a text thread that is used multiple times a day. Yeah. That is a family. It will never, never be uh, shut down, that text thread. <laughs> and it should never be observed because we're out <laughs> of our minds. But what it really is is a thing of love and respect and support for each other. And also genuinely, like, we're fans. I mean, the reason this has been such a great adventure, and speaking of kids and family, so many of us have all started families since even the first Iron Man. I mean, we got our youngsters and everyone's here and, uh, you know, now they've just got to watch all the movies. Yeah, they've always been great. That's the best thing about Marvel. They have uh, this kind of baked in the cake fan base because of the amazing work that came before these films. So there's, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. You, you have this wonderful fan base, but you also have the pressure to make sure you satisfy the people who's uh, taste is from the source material, so you can't deviate too much, and 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 they deserve that allegiance. It's a family, yeah. It's a family through and through. <laughs> Everybody was really nice. I don't know. I had a really good time. Uh, excited to see what the future holds, and uh, I have no idea what will happen next. But I'm excited to find out tonight when I watch the movie for the first time. Marvel has kind of set a standard where you. Look, a lot of times you make movies and you don't know how it's going to turn out. With Marvel, we become a little too uh, accustomed to knowing it's going to be good. It's just a matter of how good. Yeah, we've done a big, big loop of the world. I started, well, left Australia, came here, went to London, then went across to Asia, then went back to Australia quickly, and then you know, here we are. So, and this is this is it. This is the this is the wrap up. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, none of us have seen it either. So I think we have the same enthusiasm and excitement as the fans do to see it. And. Uh, you know, a lot of us have been working on this for, what, close to 10 years now and 22, 23 films or something. And so, yeah, it's pretty special. And, and, you know, once in a career, once in a lifetime opportunity and just trying to, you know, soak up every moment, enjoy it. And, and as I said, very excited to see the film because I didn't even read the script, let alone see the film. So <laughs> this whole experience is a dream for most of us. And, and without the fans, none of it would be possible. And so to still have that kind of enthusiasm is pretty special. You know, we took a big swing in this one and it was kind of, left everything on the table and, and uh, we all wanted to do something unique and something different and something fresh and that was my certainly goal you know personally and, and, and I think we're all pretty proud of, of what we've done and I'm excited for people to see it obviously. Yeah the, the, the greatest thing the, the takeaway out of this for me personally and for a handful of us for sure after a decade of spending a lot of time with each other and there's been marriages and divorces and kids that come along through this that decade and it's the friendships that have been built because of the MCU. And uh, with the, the A6, especially, it's a very tight, tight crew, and I get to walk away well after this is gone and still hold wonderful friendships with a lot of amazing people. It's a pretty epic moment. I think um, the world is waiting, and, and, we're, and we're here to deliver one way or another. Um, it's bittersweet, you know, it's like, I think we all, you know, it's been a great ride and we've been really blessed, but it's coming to an end. I was talking to a friend of mine about um, going to see movies with our families and uh, how movies are such an important part of our family life and bonding us and, um, you know, I, that's what's happened with these movies for you know, it's 22 movies now. And um, people really have an emotional connection to it. And it brings people together in this really divided time, you know, and storytelling like transcends all of that and reminds us of our common humanity. And we have the best fans in the world. It's a journey, the film. And um, it, it goes to a lot of surprising places. And uh, it has a lot of pathos and a lot of humor and a lot of um, action. I feel elated, I feel excited, I feel relieved that it's finally going out into the world and maybe I'm not going to have to harbor all of these spoilers that are just living in my mind. I'm excited to see the reaction because I think it's going to be unexpected and pretty thrilling and, and certainly satisfying for, for the Marvel fans who have followed this journey for the last 10 years. I mean, this is 22 movies and it's all been leading to this moment. Like, truly, it's like it's going to be an extremely satisfying experience for any Marvel fan. 
it's just the best part of the job, uh, in all honesty. Like to make these movies is really fun, but then to be able to give them to the fans who are so passionate about everything that you're doing, that's what makes it really cool. Um, and so all we want to do is deliver for the fans. Um, and that is the driving force behind all of this. Just the excitement of tonight. I can't believe that it's finally here. We're going to see the movie. We all woke up this morning, my whole family thought, oh, we're going to see this thing finally today. I've been traveling the world with some of these other guys and none of us know exactly what's going to happen. So all of those questions will be answered a few hours from now. It is an incredible experience to you know, ha be on stage with 8,500 screaming people that are such diehard uh, Marvel fans and Avengers fans and it's... It was, you know, last week we were in Shanghai, and and uh, it was it was really an experience. I wish everyone could have at least once in their life to hear that kind of cheering and to feel that kind of uh, passion about something. It was a cool thing to be a part of. I'm excited for audiences to experience this culmination of 22 films and uh, to kind of see where this thing has landed and have this satisfying emotional and roller coaster ride uh, uh, of an experience and, and I can't wait to, until audiences discover it. It's uh, 10 years, 22 movies and uh, it feels like an enormous amount of work that's culminated to this final moment, this end game and it feels like the beginning of something and the end of something else and you know it's uh, it's a it's an interesting transitional time and you know, I, I, I really, it's funny, even talking to the Russos about this, you know, they always say, they're like, we needed to kind of bring this to a close. We needed this chapter to close. We needed to give people a cathartic experience. And I'm hoping that's what we get tonight. I think it will be, but. The fans are amazing. I mean, I met another, I met a fan the other day who uh, was, I'd met through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Bridget, and she was like, I started watching these movies when I was six and now I'm 15. She was like this beautiful young woman. She's like, I grew up with you playing this character and it was so meaningful for her, the character's journey and it reflected her own journey of self-discovery. And you know, that's what you get with this kind of franchise. It really is, you know, meaningful for people and it's these characters are reflective of the audience's own experience of self-discovery and that's what that's just awesome.